Welcome to the Hashtag Invest This Podcast, where the secrets for real estate investing are revealed. Now, here's your host, Scott Bauer. Welcome, everybody, to the fourth episode of the Hashtag Invest This Podcast. I want to thank you guys all for being here today. I have a very special guest on the show today. Uh, he is my personal coach and mentor and somebody that's, uh, that's really helped to change the direction of my business and my life. And so uh, I want to welcome on Trevor McGregor. He is a, uh, a master coach. He's completed over 10,000 hours working with hundreds of different clients from around the world uh, to help achieve success and fulfillment, including multiple Fortune 500 executives, entrepreneurs, and world-class professionals. So Trevor, thanks for being here. How are you doing? Oh, thanks for having me, Scott. I'm doing very well. How about yourself? I'm doing great. I'm doing really well. Um, can you let our listeners know kind of more what your focus is? Obviously, I gave a little bit of background, but what your focus is, kind of more about your background and what you're really focused on today. Absolutely. Yeah. No, my passion is helping people, you know, go further faster. And I do that as a master platinum coach. I've been coaching for half a dozen years and have amassed well over 10,000 coaching hours. And a lot of that was, you know, being one of Tony Robbins' top master platinum coaches. I was hanging with Tony for half a decade, and it really allowed me to understand, you know, why humans think and behave the way they do. And uh, no differently in working with you and understanding, you know, what are your strengths or what are your weaknesses, or as I like to call them, opportunities to improve. You know, a coach is somebody that can help people, you know, take where they are and what they're about and absolutely make sure that their state, their story and their strategy are consistent to go out there and achieve what they want. Does that make sense? Yeah, it actually, it, it, it really does make sense. I mean, can you elaborate some more on, you know, people out there that maybe don't understand, you know, your master platinum coach. So what does that mean? And why, I mean, why, who is coaching for? Why would somebody want to get a coach? What, what is the major you know, benefit, I guess, to having you on their side? Well, sure. I'll, I'll back up even you know, further to that, and then I'll answer the question. My background was in corporate. So I spent a number of years you know, in, the, in the real estate and hospitality business, you know, grew the company to about $40 million, had about 500 people you know, in five major cities reporting to me. And it was fascinating to take a look at the staff and the team, Scott, and really identify, you know, what allowed a lot of them to really achieve success, both personally and professionally. And then what allowed a lot of people to have what I call early retirement? I mean, there were people that just weren't cut out for it. So I started to, you know, really take an, a fascination to it. I started to read a lot of books. I started to go to a lot of, you know, um, programs and, and conferences and really start to listen to audios. And it soon became very apparent to me that, you know, it's really how a person defines themselves. That's number one. And then it really de determines, you know, how they're going to show up to take care of the, the strategy that can get them from where they are to where they want to be. But if it was just strategy alone, you know, everyone would get to their outcomes. And I often will, you know, share this, you know, simple version of that. And, you know, I think everybody on the planet at one time or another have wanted to lose a little bit of weight. So let me ask you, have you ever wanted to lose a little bit of weight or get into great shape yourself, Scott? Of course, yes. Yeah. Well, if it was just the strategy of losing weight, or if it was just the strategy of getting up at 430 in the morning and going to the gym, everyone in America would be fit, healthy and vital. But it's not because what's missing is the psychology. Because again, the strategies are there. If you type diet into Google, you're going to get a billion different hits. Or if you drive through any major city in North America, there's a gym on every seventh corner. So the strategies are there, but the psychology of why do you want it? What are the benefits to doing it? What would life be like if you didn't do it? Or what would life be like if you did do it? You know, those are the questions people need to really grab hold of and define and then go out there and take the strategy on to get from where they are to where they want to be. So to answer your question, a coach is for somebody that wants to shorten that, that time span, shorten the learning curve. I mean, we see things with clients that they traditionally don't see themselves because they're in it. And, you know, I do that obviously for people in different modalities of their career, their finances, you know, their health, 
their, you know, relationships, but my passion is doing it in real estate. So I am also, in addition to being a master platinum coach, I'm an active real estate investor myself. And so since 2003, I've been given myself a unique opportunity to see what works and what doesn't, and then marry real estate with human psychology to help other people in America and around the beautiful blue planet we live on really go further faster. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, it, it definitely absolutely makes sense. And I think that that's something that, uh, you know, a lot of people look at a dollar figure as, okay, you as a coach, you're going to cost me this much money today. And they don't understand that that, that dollar figure is really, it's, it, it, it doesn't matter because your job as a coach is to push us to the next level where, I mean, that cost just gets eaten up. I know from, you know, our, us working together, it's, I mean, it's, it's, you know, you pay for yourself. There's, there's not even really a cost to it. And so I think a lot of, a lot of listeners out there, I know uh, me, you know, a couple of years ago was quite skeptical in coaching, but now I have really taken a hold of it and it helps push me to the next level. And so I think it probably resonates with a lot of the listeners out there that they're like, you know, well, let me, let me ask you, I mean, what, what is it, what does a coach like you cost for the, you know, real estate investor out there that may be looking to get to the next level? Uh, that's a great question, Scott. And again, you know, all coaches are not created equal. And I have different, you know, coaching levels for people that are in different places. But even before I answer that, let's go back to taking a look at what a coach has traditionally done. I mean, you take a coach like Bill Belichick from the New England Patriots that, you know, helped Tom Brady win the Super Bowl last year. Or you take a coach, you know, that has helped, you know, an Olympic athlete win gold for their country. That's traditionally how we've defined what a coach is. So there's a lot of similarities to real estate investing and sport in having somebody on your side to help you again, you know, with what's not working, make sure that you're aligned with what you want, why you want it, what you're willing to do to get it, and then go after it. So when we think about the value of a coach, I like to say that there is no cost, but there is an investment. Because the way I determine it is a cost is like going to Starbucks and buying a cup of coffee. Once you consume that coffee, it's gone. You can't use it anymore. Whereas an investment is something that if you hire a coach, a teacher, a mentor, a trainer, and you're going to learn things from them throughout the duration of your time with them, well, you're going to be able to keep that and, and literally use that for the rest of your life. I mean, what would it like be like for you to have one of those people to learn from because they say the best way to achieve something is to go out there and model best practices from someone who's already done it. What would it be worth you and your listeners to have that in your hands right now? So again, to go back to it, there is no cost. There is an investment. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a ton of sense. And uh, I mean, you hit it right on the right on the money right there. I mean, it's it's so important that you can take all the information that you, I mean, that you and I talk about uh, on a consistent basis, and I've been able to incorporate it into my life and into my business and things just continue to explode. So you bet. Um, and it's and it's very cool to be your coach, your, your mentor, your teacher, your trainer, and you are absolutely crushing it. And again, I give tip my hat to you for playing full out because Again, the coach is there to support that, but ultimately it's up to you to do the work. So that's, that's number one. Huge props to you, Scott. And again, anybody listening to this, you know, Scott's the real deal when it means coming to the coaching calls committed, decisive, coachable, and resourceful. Because what we talk about then once the call's over, he goes off out there and does it and, you know, sends in his accountability and, you know, his emails, his texts, and then we're back on the phone the following week celebrating his wins, and then setting the table for what's going to happen that week. So it's really, really cool. And another reference to that, because again, I think listeners always look for what we call references. Well, here's a couple that I think the listeners should hear. Number one, Bill Gates says that it's going to be as common to have a coach by 2020 as it is a dentist, a hairstylist, or an auto mechanic. I mean, it's going to become a staple. So much so that reference number two is the fact that Harvard Business School just introduced a coaching division where they're literally, you could go to Harvard to get your coaching degree so that you can go out there and support Fortune 500 businesses, 
you know, um, you know, franchises, startups, entrepreneurs. So again, when you look at places like Harvard doing this or listen to what Bill Gates says, I mean, it's an absolutely no brainer that if you're somebody who wants to go further faster, you know, a coach can be a very, very, very powerful thing to have. Make sense, Scott? Yeah, it definitely does. And I was kind of, you know, I'm thinking about this as you're saying that going further faster. So a, a coach might become commonplace. However, I still, and would you agree with me that having a coach still is a, is a leg up? I mean, if you're serious about what you're doing, you're serious about going to the next level and really striving to be the best at what you're going to do or what you're doing, having a coach, you're, you're a leg up to the competition that doesn't have a coach. Would you agree with that? Yeah, well, I love that you're saying that because, again, my mentor, Tony Robbins, says that oftentimes it's that two or three, you know, percent difference that a coach can make that the competition doesn't have that can get you a deal, that can help you, you know, in terms of speaking to a lender, that can get the right people on your team. If you're a shark or a flipper, a rehabber, a syndicator, doesn't matter if you're in mobile homes or if you're in assisted living or if you're in self-storage. You know, again, a coach can give you that one, two, three, five, ten percent, you know, surplus that, you know, people that say coaching isn't for me don't have. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, the majority. So the coaching side of what you do is just I mean, it's, it's fantastic. And really, you've helped me push me to the next level and we continue to do so. And I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. But you know, the majority of the listeners out there are in real estate and are, are real estate investors. And so why don't we dive into that a little bit with you? You have a portfolio of real estate investments. Are you an active investor, a passive investor? And what, is, what does that look like? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit of both. I'm a hybrid. I mean, I started co uh, really investing in real estate in 2003. And again, it started with buying one little condo. And that was a great experience. So I took the equity out of that and bought a, uh, a townhouse. And then from the equity of both of those, a year went by and I took the money and bought my very first duplex. And that's where the light bulb went off so that I could you know, start to see what cash flow really was. From there, I started to buy more duplexes and more duplexes, moved into fourplexes, bought more fourplexes. And so, yes, I really you know, started my career picking up one property in time with a long-term buy and hold, you know, process, you know, fast forward to today. And after buying millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of real estate in Vancouver, Canada, which is where I hail from, I'm now doing seven figure projects. So right now in a little suburb of Vancouver called White Rock, BC, mm -hmm. I'm doing a seven figure deal overlooking the Pacific ocean. So again, that's a project that I'm flipping, you know, once it's completed. So I would say that I've been a hybrid over the years of really, you know, winning the game of both where I've held some property for that long-term buy and hold. I've, you know, flipped some of that. I've rehabbed some of that. I'm doing some projects now. And ultimately I feel that real estate investing is the greatest wealth vehicle on the planet. I really do. And again, to help me go further faster, even though I'm a coach and I predominantly support real estate investors all over the world, I still have two coaches that support me, Scott, plus I have an accountability partner in Seattle because I'm of the belief that, you know, if you're going to talk the talk, you better walk the walk. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you touched on something there that I think is important for all the listeners to realize as well. And something I kind of struggle with. And that is that you started slow and well, you started and then you slowly graduated and now you're where you're at now. So taking small steps, but always taking steps forward is super, super important. And I think that a lot of people get tied up in the big shiny object or the big, you know, the, the end result that you have in your mind and they don't remember to take it slow and take one step in front of the other slow and steady wins the race and not necessarily going in huge strides or making massive, you know, massive, massive changes that are going to potentially be catastrophic to your business. I mean, would you agree to that? Yeah, you're spot on. I mean, statistically, we know that, you know, the majority of people in the United States want to be involved in real estate in some capacity. You know, they either want to be an investor or they want to, you know, do something in that arena but they never do because they start with the end in mind and they get overwhelmed. You know, they don't start off, you know, seeing the end in mind because it's great to have big, hairy, audacious goals, but then you got to go back and, and, and really start at square one. 
you know, and identify what do you need to do to get started? Why do you want it? You know, who can help you do it? And that's why I say it's so important for us to have what we call professional pillars on your team. You know, you might need some different lenders. You might need some different brokers. You might need an appraiser. You might need, you know, a general contractor, a plumber, a roofer, a landscaper, a coach. I mean, there's just so many people that can help you go further faster. So the goal is to stay out of overwhelm and really, you know, dial it back to ground zero and really get clarity on what you need to do and who can help you do it. Does that resonate, Scott? Oh yeah, absolutely resonates with me. And I kind of want to take another, another step back. I don't want to step back too far, but when it comes back to Tony Robbins himself, I mean, pretty much everybody I think out there is going to know who Tony Robbins is a very popular name is. How did you get connected with him to begin with? And how do you land yourself as a platinum coach under Tony Robbins? I mean, where for our listeners out there, give a little backstory with that. <laughs> I get asked that all the time and it's, it's really quite an amazing story. I mean, I think I mentioned earlier, I was working in corporate. I was fascinated why people tend to think and behave the way they do and started to read the books, go to the seminars. And it was really, you know, going to a Tony Robbins seminar and it's called unleash the power within where a lot of more light bulbs went off. A lot of other light bulbs went off and I ended up loving it so much and I saw that there were really two things that help people really, you know, scale faster. The first one was your mindset. And then again, the second one was modeling best practices that I hired my own Tony Robbins coach. And this guy was amazing. He was one of Tony's top coaches. And as he started to work with me, he'd say, Trevor, you know what? You're so passionate about this stuff. You're so knowledgeable about this stuff. And we talk about everything from real estate to business to high performance to health, I mean, finance, everything. And then one day he said to me, hey, Tony Robbins is actually looking to hire more business coaches, more real estate coaches. Would that interest you? And I laughed, Scott, and I said, you know what, that's, that's wonderful, but I don't have time and I don't have any coaching skill sets. I mean, you know, and this was way back in the day. And he said, well you know, I want you to give it some thought. And as the time went by and I worked with this guy for about three to four years, he kept bringing it up on calls and he kept bringing it up. And finally, finally, he said, Trevor, I just, you know, I just have to tell you that you're exactly what we're looking for. I really want you to talk to our HR team. And I did. And ultimately I put up my hand to become a part-time coach. But in order to do that, you have to absolutely go through a rigorous 18 month process of going through all of Tony's materials. I mean, reading the books, listening to the audios, going to every single event. So I literally put some, you know, real estate stuff on hold and part of my career on hold to go off and do this. And I also became certified with the International Coaching Federation during that time, the ICF, which is the highest governing body of, of coaching. And ultimately, then I had to do my practicum with Tony which means that I had to go and absolutely coach live and in person. And I did all of that down in Orlando, Florida. And when the dust settled, I ended up as the number one graduate of the class. I got offered the position. I started it part time. I fell in love, the coaching bug bit. And that's when I decided to leave my corporate job and just do coaching and real estate full time. And I've been doing that for a while now. And it's been the greatest ride of my life. That is just phenomenal. And that, that story is, is, is prime time. And I think, um, you know, I'm happy that you're, that you and I got connected and, you know, I'm happy to have all of your knowledge and experience that you can share on with me. Cause it's just, it's invaluable. I mean, it just is, it's something that I I'm truly grateful for. So, um, you know, I, I appreciate all the information you've shared from, you know, I guess starting off with Tony Robbins and getting into the coaching and your real estate side, is there, if you were to say one hashtag invest this tip for all of our listeners to keep them moving forward, what would that be? Well, I think there's a common theme that's shown up in your, your experience with me and my experience with my coaches, people's experiences with Tony Robbins. And that is there are people out there that can help you get to where you want to go. So again, you can have an ego. You can say, I'll figure it out all on my own. You can, you know, tried and test everything, but that's old school. I mean, the world is sped up so fast and there's a lot of real estate competition out there. Other people competing for deals in the cities and in the neighborhoods that you want 
other lenders offering deals to other people right now. So if you don't know what you're doing, you know what, you can do it on your own and figure it out. But I'm highly, highly encouraging people to understand that the best invest this tip is to really honor yourself and hire some help. That is go out there and vet some coaches, some teachers, some mentors, some trainers. Or if that's not something you want to do, at least start by reading great books, listening to great audios like Scott's audio here, or his, his podcast. You know, go to some real estate meetup groups, go to some real estate action events. And I'm telling you, there's a like-mindedness that when you join a community like this, a high tide lifts all boats, and you go out there and you start buying more real estate and creating the impact and the income that you really, really want in your life. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, definitely does. And thank you for giving that. I really appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> do you have a favorite book, Trevor? Scott, I do. I do. I get asked, you know, for favorite books all the time, but without hesitation, the number one book that I'd recommend for anyone is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I mean, that's been my Bible. I've easily read it 23 times. I listen to the audio in my SUV at least, I don't know, a hundred times. And I'm able now to quote sections of that book. And um, yeah, it's just absolutely changed my life. And I highly encourage everyone out there to either pick up the book or pick up the audio program for sure. Awesome. Awesome. Well, with the book, do, do you have a favorite quote that goes with the book or another favorite quote that's maybe different than the book? Yeah, I've got a couple of quotes I'll share with the listeners. You know, one is, you know, where focus goes, energy flows. And again, most people focus on what they don't want. You know, you might hear things in the US or Canada or Europe or Australia like, I don't want to be broke, I don't want to be fat, and I don't want to be lonely. Well, again, where focus goes, energy flows. So I'd spin that around and move it from a disempowering comment to an empowering comment like, you know, I want to be abundant, I want to be fit, or I want to have somebody to share my life with because the same thing applies in real estate. If you focus on all the good deals being gone or, oh, the lender's giving it to someone else or, oh, the private lender, you know, won't loan me the money at good rates, you're attracting that. So again, go back to focusing on what you want, why you want it and start manifesting it into your life. Does that resonate with you? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm right on that same. Uh, yeah. The second one I'll offer you, Scott, in the listeners is one of my favorite ones. I have it on a post-it note. It's in my office and it's been there for probably 15 years now. And it's from Tony Robbins mentor, Mr. Jim Rohn. And if you're not familiar with Jim Rohn, he was an early pioneer like Zig Ziglar, you know, Earl Nightingale, some of the fathers of coaching and, and really, you know, personal growth and personal development. And one of the quotes that really resonated with me as a young real estate investor was this. And he said, don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. <laughs> I'll say it again. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. And I really fell in love with that quote. And so I made it my destiny to get better because as you and I have discussed, the learning never stops. You know, you can go from good up to great and you can go from great to excellent but even above excellent is outstanding or even above outstanding is extraordinary or extraordinary and Scott that's what I see you doing and I'm absolutely blessed and honored to be your coach and I know that the future is friendly for you because you've got the same outlook don't you absolutely yes and we've talked about that before and it's I think the only way to go you got it you got it so those are my two favorite quotes and I've got a million more but those are, those are some of the keepers. Well, thank you for that. And, uh, you know, I have just two more things to go to ask you. One, how do you like to give back? I mean, obviously with your coaching and, and your consulting, you're giving back. You give back to me every time we talk, and I just look forward to it every single time. But how else do you like to give back? And also, where can we reach you? How can, how can the listeners get in touch with you if they want to catapult their business just like I've catapulted mine? Well, thank you. Yes, I'll answer both here. My favorite way to give back is just to, again, you know, obviously, you know, I, I do this as, as my career and, and I get paid very, very well for what I do, but I do a lot of pro bono coaching. I do a lot of speaking. I do a lot of events where, you know, there's no remuneration. I just do it because I know that if I change one person's life by sharing what I know, then it's worth it. 
you know, and in addition to that, we do a lot of charity work. My wife and I give a lot of money to children's foundations, like the Make-A-Wish Foundation or the Children's Hospital, you know, so we really love children. I'm blessed to have three, three boys myself. And so if there's kids involved or if there's an opportunity to get in front of them, you know, being a coach, you know, at Little League Baseball or soccer or hockey or anything like that, I get back to the community that way as well. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And thank you for that. How can I reach you? Yeah, it's really very simple. I, I make it real simple for people all over this beautiful blue planet to find me. And if you wanted to do, you know, a call or get in touch, you can simply go to www.coachwithtrevor.com. That's Coach with Trevor. That's T-R-E-V-O-R.com. And there you'll be able to enter in your details. Um, that will take you to a form that will, you know, have you tell me a little bit more about, you know, who you are, where you live. You know, what type of investor are you? What are some of the goals that you've got? Maybe what's holding you back? And if we want to jump on a 30-minute discovery call and break you free of that, well, I do that complimentary. And again, it's one of the ways to give back to a lot of the clients that I support and their listeners. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm sure that everybody out there is going to take advantage of that. And if, if I was you, I would listeners out there listening to this <laughs> and uh, Trevor, thank you for being here today. I appreciate you going over all of your details about your, you know, the past and how you got into coaching and, and your, your real estate endeavors that you're doing currently, how you like to give back your uh, quotes as far as where energy flows uh, or I'm sorry, where focus goes, energy flows. And of course, Mr. Jim Rohn's, don't wish that it was easier. Just wish you were better. And so thank you for being here today. I appreciate it. And all of you listeners out there, I would encourage you to get in touch with Trevor. Yeah. Thanks very much, Scott. I honor you for the work you do. This podcast is absolutely amazing just out of the gates. And uh, I know that you're going to continue to crush it for not only yourself, but every one of your loyal listeners who's tuning in. So thanks for the opportunity. Absolutely. We'll talk with you real soon. Thank you. You got it. Take care, my friend. Goodbye. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this podcast to help us spread the word. Go ahead and reach out to Scott Bauer on all the social media outlets for suggestions on topics and guests for the show. And check out investthispodcast.com for more secrets and resources to achieve real success in real estate.